Welcome to my Celestial Dragon Slayer Test Guide. For these, you will need to have completed one of a kind quest. To access and find these, you will need either an Ectophilia with the Ghost Speak Amulet or the 99 Dungeoneering Cape. With the Ectophilia, activate it. and immediately run south. You will need to have completed a Ghost Ahoy's quest. If not, you will need to pay two Ecto tokens. From the gate, run east. Once you're at this little bridgeway, go south to the lone tiny boat with the ghost. For here, you will need to have either the Ghost Speak Amulet equipped, or if you have completed the Hard Mortania achievements, right click him and travel. You will now be on an island with Radiant Wisp and the Colony. Continue to go south and you will be at a dungeon resource. If you have the 99 Dungeoneering Cape, you can right click it and activate. Go to option 0 for more. And then click on number 3, Dragon Tooth Celestial Dragon Dungeon. Enter the mysterious entrance. For this task, it is best to use range. I will be using full Armado armor with Nightmare Gauntlets and Pernix boots, an uncharged godbook with regular Ascension bolts and augmented Ascension main hand and offhand with the precise 3 and Dragon Slayer perk. Getting this perk is a 100% chance. You will need 3 Armado components and 1 Dragon Fire component. To get the Dragon Fire component, you can break down an ant, uh, Dragon Fire Shield Magic Range or melee styles. There is a chance for you to also get precise 4, but that is not a 100% chance. Once you're in the dungeon, run north. You will need 3 4 dose super anti fires. This requires 85 herbalore which also enables the dragons to never ever hit you so basically your gear is meaningless but I like to use armado for the range bonus some overloads for the familiar you can use a steel titan pouch however if you right click the summoning icon and put open pet interface if you have a legendary pet, make sure its abilities have the wolf icon. It will be scavenge. Summon the pet. You can either use a steel titan for quicker kills, but I prefer to use a legendary pet because it will pick up the drops for you. Lastly, for your prayer, you want to select Quick Prayers, have Soul Split and Anguish Prayer, save it, and lastly, you will need the Demon Horn Necklace with the Bone Crusher either in your inventory or on the tool belt. Keep in mind that this will destroy all of the bones that you will get. If you wish 
to get the bones, which is currently almost 300,000, which is currently almost 3,000 each, you can decide to keep the bones. Pod up. Turn your quick prayers on and attack the dragons. Only attack one dragon at a time. If you kill the dragon too slow, he will do a little animation, which you should hopefully do soon. Right there, he will roar. This will stun you for three seconds. You can use freedom to instantly remove it and then attack the next dragon. Since that was your first dragon, you should expect to get frozen there. However, for the rest of the dragons, you want to use one threshold each. That will be snapshot, rapid fire, Bombardment or shadow tendrils. If you use the shadow tendrils, it does drain your life points. But since you are using the demon horn necklace with the bone crusher, you will retain your life points. You can also use dead shot, which you're able to use every 30 seconds. If you notice that my legendary pet is picking up the single most expensive drop, that is greatly needed over the steel titan in my case, since this is easily over 1 mil. GP per task. To get quicker kills, you can use the Reckless Aura, which should finish this task in about 40 45 minutes. It's purely depending on how many you have to kill. Remember to just use either one or two thresholds on them and you should be perfectly fine. I like to snapshot and then awesome bombardment. But keep in mind that bombardment is an AoE and will attack a nearby one if granted. This slayer task I love doing because it is very good for crimson charms and as you see there is no supplies needed, yet it gets you a lot of summoning ingredients based on their drop table. You also do not need the best in slot gear because you can just do this in any gear that gives range bonus. I do not like to use the gradables in this case since they never hit you. The only damage you will take is from your shadow tendrils. And remember, if you kill the dragons too slow, you may want to use a second threshold upon them to kill them. If you wish to keep the bones, you can use a magic note paper, but this will in turn get you more money, but you may have to bank more or just do this without prayer, which will slow down your kills a lot. While these are on your slur task, you will have a possible chance of getting the Celestial Hand Wraps, which is magic based and they are tier 90. At this time of the recording, those gloves 
are between 4 to 500k, which is honestly pretty bad, but they are cheap tier 90 gloves. Killing these said dragons will grant you 398 Slayer experience per. And since this task is under 45 minutes, this can be optional for you to prefer it on your road to 120 or 200 mil Slayer. Thank you all so much for watching this Celestial Dragon Slayer task guide. And Enjoy the rest of your day.